Hi everybody. Uh, we're going to be looking at some of the easy version of the chords that we've been working on in class. Um, and this is for those of you that have a guitar at home. Uh, if you don't have a guitar at home, you probably can't do this. I would recommend checking out the body drumming video. Um, that's more something that you would be able to do at home. But some of you do have a guitar at home, and if you want to get some practice, this is something that I think would help you out. So go ahead and uh, let's take a uh, listen to what I have to say. Now, the first thing are easy chords. They're not the full-size chords, they're what we're starting off on, and we will eventually pull out of these, but it's a good place to start. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get your guitar, and if you look, I've got my left hand over here, my right hand here, and I have this paper towel in between the neck and the strings. Now that's just to block the strings, right? We don't have to worry about them that way. So what you're going to do, and I would ask your parents for help with this, is just get a little piece of paper towel. It doesn't have to be the whole sheet of paper towel, um, and just kind of fold it to where it's a little bit thick, and then you're going to lift the strings one by one and put it in there to block the six, fifth, four floors, the six, fifth, and fourth strings. You want the third, second, and first floor strings open because those are the ones that we're going to be strumming and having ring out. Now, if you feel like you're going to be moving a little bit fast, remember this is a video, and you can always go back and rewind. Um, so I am going to be kind of moving at a quicker pace just so I can get everything in a short amount of time. But feel free to stop. Go ahead and stop me, pause me, and rewind, and uh, hear what I have to say again. All right? Now, the first chord we're going to be working on, if you've got your paper towel in the right area, is the E minor. And that's the easiest chord. Now in class, we tend to use colors and stickers. Your guitar may not have that. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth in this video on to where your fingers are going to go. But for E minor, this is going to be the easiest one because all you have to do is strum the strings and not push any fingers down. That's an E minor. That's an easy E minor, all right? If you were to take this off, it'd be a little bit different, but for right now, that's all it is. Now, I could have you play this chord for eight hours, and that would be kind of boring, so I'm going to move on, all right? But remember, E minor is nothing. And the next chord we're going to jump to is the G chord, all right? And in class, we have stickers on our guitar that shows kind of where we can put our fingers. You may not have that on yours, so I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. Now, remember, I like to say that each fret, I like to call them buildings. So we have our buildings, and then we have our floors on the building. Now, I have little stickers here that kind of help me remember which buildings are. So I have my first building, third building, fifth, seventh, ninth, blah, 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 so far up. And in between them, obviously, second, fourth, sixth. All right, those are going to help us. So for the G chord, what you're going to do, what you're going to want to do is find that third building. All right, so go ahead and count it with me. One, two, three. And on the third building, you're going to jump to the first floor. The first floor is the skinniest, the very skinniest, the very bottom string. And you're going to use your ring finger. You're going to put your ring finger on that third floor, for that third building, I'm sorry, that third building, first floor, and you're going to hold it down, all right? Now, remember, you don't want your wrist to be up here. Right? That's going to give you not a great sound, and it's not a great shape either. Your thumb shouldn't be up top, right? And your palm of your hand should not be holding the guitar like that, right? Your guitar should be holding your arm over here. So... Let's build that chord again. Third floor, ring finger. Sorry, third building, ring finger. First floor, my wrist is forward, my thumb is hidden, my palm is floating, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to strum these strings. Now you want to make sure that the string is being pushed all the way down to the Now I'm going to jump back to E minor, which is nothing, so I'm just going to take my finger off. I'm going to go to G. Back to E minor. Here's what I want you to do. You can pause the video, um, and you can practice this. Just practice those two chords, E minor four times, G four times, and so forth until you feel like you've got a good grip of it. I'm going to do it once just to demonstrate, then you can pause me and you can work on it on your own. So my turn first. E minor, two, three, four, 
G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. All right, go ahead and pause me. I'll be right here. I'm not going anywhere. And practice on your own until you feel like you got a good grip on it. All right, did you practice it? Good, let's keep going on. Now we have our E minor chord and our G chord. Now we're going to talk about our C chord. Now remember, we don't have the stickers here to help us, and our C is red in class, but here I don't have any red stickers, but I will show you where to put it. Now for the C chord, you're going to want to jump to the very first building. Very easy. It's just the first building right here, and you're going to go to the second floor. You're going to use your pointer finger. So first building, second floor, your wrist is not up, your thumb is not showing, your palm is not holding the guitar, you should be using your fingertips too, and it's going to sound like this. And that's a C chord. Alright, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do them twice. I'm going to do E minor twice, G twice, and C twice. It's going to sound like this. I'm going to do it again until it sounds better. Alright, and that's why you practice. So, here's what I want you to do. You're going to play E minor four times, you're going to play G four times, and you're going to play C four times. And then you're going to start over. Now, you can go much slower than I'm going. In fact, I would recommend you go slower than I'm going, all right? Um, you can even change the order. So if you don't like E, G, C, you can go C, E, G, or G, C, D, or E, G. You can do any combination of the three, all right? As long as you're practicing changing from one chord to the other. You want to go to G, E minor, C, or C, G, E minor. There's a lot of different ways you can do it, all right? So go ahead and stop and pause me and go ahead and practice those three chords. And once you feel like you kind of have that down, come back. All right, you got that down? Good job. Now, there are a lot of songs out there that have G, E minor, and C. So I want you, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go and you're going to search, um, with your parents' permission, of course, for songs that have the C major, the E minor, and the G major chord in them. And you're going to practice that. Now, what are you saying? Oh, well, this song has those three chords, but it also has other chords in it. Well, what you're going to do is you're just not going to play those chords. All right? There are plenty of songs out there that if you were playing along with them, the song is going to keep going, even though you're not, and you can just jump back in where you need to. You shouldn't let your lack of knowledge stop you from playing music, right? Have fun. Play music. That's really what it's all about, all right? I hope you got something out of this video. Remember, if you feel like you're confused, go back. Watch it again. Watch the part that you need to practice. Don't watch the part you know, all right? Watch the part that you need to practice. And remember to practice what you don't have. You don't need to practice something that you've got down. You need to practice something you need to work on, all right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.